All right, welcome to part 10 in creating our first Django application. I'm Avi and let's get started. So we left off where we had created a fantastic application where we can vote on questions, we can choose options and we can see the votes. And then we even learned about adding CSS to our application. Now for the final lecture of the series for now, we're gonna learn about Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a fantastic tool we can use in websites to develop responsive mobile first projects on the web. Basically, if you create a website on one platform, it'll work perfectly on another platform and it's super easy to use. So that's why whenever I create a website, I always use Bootstrap. So what I want you guys to do is search Bootstrap or go to getbootstrap.com and download Bootstrap. Um, it shouldn't take too long. Um, we're gonna download Bootstrap right over here. Now you don't have to, you can also use the link given right over here, but it's always good to just download it and make sure we have everything that's there. So download Bootstrap, it should take a few moments. All right, it started 279 KB and we're almost there. Awesome. So let's open it up and we now see Bootstrap right over here. What I wanna do is I'm gonna copy this. So copy and I'm gonna go into my documents and I'm gonna go into my folder. So that's going to be um, first pro, my site, polls, static. And then inside of this, I'm going to paste my bootstrap 3.3.6 dist, okay? So now you should be able to see polls, you should see static, polls, bootstrap 33.6, images, and then style.css, okay? Once you have bootstrap installed, we're gonna be using a template that they have, and we'll be modifying it for our own use in our Django application. So let's go ahead and head over to basic template, or actually more down, and you're gonna see something called examples. You can also hit examples on the right-hand side. Now, they have a lot of different examples, starter template, bootstrap, grids, jumbotron, narrow jumbotron. Um, for the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and just use jumbotron. All right, so we're in jumbotron now. Um, what we're gonna be doing is right click on it and inspect. And basically we wanna copy everything that they did. So they have their HTML, they have their div. Um, I think if we view source, it might be better, okay. And we wanna use the exact same links that they did, exact same meta tags that they did, et cetera. So it says right over here, above three meta tags must come first in the head. All right, let's go ahead and copy these three meta tags and add them to our index. I'm sorry, base.html. Okay, these are our three meta tags. Then it goes ahead and gets us the bootstrap.min.css link, okay? So we need the exact same link as well. And the way we're gonna do it is, let's go ahead and copy this link, command C, enter, command V, and then it's gonna be static, pulls, and then we are gonna delete the style.css, and it's going to be bootstrap, basically whatever version of bootstrap you have. I have 3.3.6 as my latest, but if you saw on the website, bootstrap four is also coming. So if you have that, then go ahead and enter that version and then go ahead and enter the folders. So what is it? Bootstrap CSS and then bootstrap.min.css. So let's go ahead and do that. CSS and then bootstrap.min.css. Fantastic. So that's that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how they added the Jumbotron. So we have our, first of all, let's go ahead and add our header. Um, our header is going to be this nav class right over here. Go ahead and copy this, head over to your templates, okay? And I want you to right click on your polls directory, add a new HTML file and call this header.html. Inside of this, remove all this extra HTML and paste the nav class. The reason why we're doing this is because then in our base.html, all we have to do is include our header class. So go ahead and include polls slash header.html. 
Again, I think I might be going a bit fast, but all we did was we copied the nav part of this um, bootstrap template, copied it into a header.html, and then we included it in the base.html file. So now we have our base. The next thing we have to do is get the container. So as you can see, they use something known as div class jumbotron and then div class container. So go ahead and copy those two div tags and place them right over here. Okay. And then we need to end the div tags as well. So tab this tab. Okay. And let's go ahead and end the div tags. So div end and then div end. Awesome. So we have a jumbotron, we have a container. Um, again, the footer is going to be outside of this jumbotron and container. So go ahead and command V and the header is going to be outside of this as well. Okay. And that seems to be it. Um, let me just make sure that we have all the right code. Um, all right, let's try it out. Save head over to our title. Let's go back to our polls page and refresh. Awesome. So we have our project name, we have what's your age and what's your name. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to delete or just remove our style.css for now, since we don't really need it. Save this and refresh. And we now have what's your age and what's your name. Great. Um, we're missing a title. So let's go ahead and add the title first. Let's head over to our base.html. And let's take a look at how they added their header. So over here, they use an h1 tag. So I'll go ahead and do the same. Let's go ahead and add the H1 tag right over here and say, uh, choose a question. Actually, that should be in the index page. So command X, let's go to our index.html and we want to show that. So command V, choose a question, command S, head over to Chrome, refresh. We now have choose a question. What's your age and what's your name? Also, I'm going to remove or actually I'm going to add the footer that they have. So let's scroll all the way down and you can see that the footer is right here. So command C this. Let's go back into our footer.html and command V. Great. So we now have our footer refresh. And we have at 2015 company incorporated, which is exactly what we wanted. All right. So one thing I don't like about this right now, if I refresh is that the company Inc is outside of this gray area. So I'm going to go ahead and include the footer inside of our div tags. So command V that the header outside that's fine. So if I refresh now, you can see at 2015 company incorporated. So this is great. Okay. We have our bootstrap. It looks fantastic. What's your age? What's your name? Let's go ahead and select one and we see what's your age. We see the three options and then we see this vote button. Honestly, this vote button doesn't look that nice. I think it can be better. So using bootstrap, we're going to make the vote button better by changing the class. Okay. So the class is going to become button button success. So over here, let's head over to our detail HTML. We have our input type is equal to submit and we're gonna make the class, whoops, equal to button button success, um, dash between the second button and success. All right, let's refresh. And we now have a nice green button. Now you can always play around with this. Let's go ahead and select one. Suppose we select 16, we vote. And it now has 15, five votes, 16, two votes, 17, one vote. If we want to vote again, great. So all of this works now. And honestly, I think there's only one last thing we have to add and that's a back button. Suppose I chose the wrong question and I want to go back. Let's go ahead and add that right after our form. We're going to say something like a href is equal to curly braces, percent signs, URL, Again, it's something we've already mentioned. Pulls index. Okay. Um, let's not forget that extra single quotation mark right there. And then let's go ahead and pass in some text. So back to question list. Okay. Save this refresh. Looks good. 
Um, I think we can add some back, like a back arrow as well. Awesome. So refresh. This is great. So now if I hit back to question list, I'm taken back to our main page. All right. So great job, guys. We've accomplished a lot in the past 10 videos. You can take the site much, much further. You can add better CSS. You can make these bigger. You might want to, I don't know, make add pictures or add more information. It can be anything you want, but this is your site now. Play around with it, play around with Bootstrap. Again, we started from nothing. We started from just a simple installation of Python to this site, going from models to views to URLs to templates and whatnot. So great job, I'm definitely proud of you guys. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever on anything, um, any Django related question, any HTML related question, definitely post a comment down below. Again, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in another one of my future videos.